Let's rock on three. One, two, three, let's rock! For the second straight season, the Indiana State softball team finished its fall season with an undefeated record going 7-0. and While their official season isn't until the spring, the extra practices and games give the team a chance to compete and make preparations for the start of the season by being in game-like situations. Well, we've uh, kind of put a standard on uh, uh, structure, discipline, raised level of expectations, competition every day in practice, and uh, it's paid off. You know, some schools maybe just uh, get everybody some action in the fall where we feel there's a lot of competition every day in practice. And, you know, we've had a lot of success, and hopefully that continues into the spring. But, uh, you know, we beat some big schools, and, uh, um, you know, I uh, really like where our program's going. While playing an aggressive style of softball on offense, defense has carried the Sycamores through the fall season. A large part of Indiana State's success has come from the strength of the pitching staff controlling the game in the circle. Um, our pitching staff has done a great job of limiting um, the amount of runs that they score, honestly. We've talked about a lot, I kind of joke with kids that when the other team scores zero, we have a really good chance to win, and I think they've kind of taken that to heart. Um, they've just done a great job of making pitches when they need to make pitches and getting outs when they need to get outs and really controlling the game. You know, we talk about their pitchers for a reason to control kind of the game, and as long as we control the game, we have a good chance to win. The Sycamores will now take the next couple of months off before opening their official season in Nashville, Tennessee on February 6th.